सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थियोरिटिकल स्टफ दैट इज टू इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस डिस्क्रीट फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म और टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन ब्रीफ ऑल द न्यूमरिकल्स रिलेटेड टू आई डी एफ टीज आई डी एफ टीज देन मैट्रिक्स मेथड एंड फॉर्मूला मेथड ऑल ऑफ दम in brief along with the circular convolution okay so now uh, and, uh, and also in last session we have discussed one of the important derivations of frequency domain sampling and reconstruction so those are not seen that you uh, can see that video it is available in our channel okay just previous to this video that video would be available also check out our playlist of uh, digital signal processing till now we have uploaded around uh, 10 videos so you can check it out so yeah now let's get to this so we have two important properties in this dfts which we are going to discuss in this session that is one is the periodicity property of dft okay another one is linearity property okay so now according to this what is the relationship we obtain that we are going to check it check it out here in case of uh, periodicity property first uh, let us write what we need to prove here okay first thing we know that x of n that is the sequence x of n its dft is denoted as x of k right if x of n plus n okay where this n represents the periodic function or the periodic variable we uh, in brief, uh, as you know that the periodic uh, symbols represent that the signals are repeating for for a particular interval of time okay whenever the signals repeat that uh, uh, that repeated uh, time is called as one period okay so that is represented as this n here in this case okay if x of n plus capital n is equal to x of n okay then what we need to prove is x of k plus n is equal to x of k so this we need to prove okay this is to prove so now how to prove this condition here is very simple let's start the proof part now we know that the formula for x of k that is the dft formula that we are going to write it first that is x of k is equal to n is equal to 0 to the so summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n okay where k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 right so here now in place of k we need to be substituting x of k plus n okay so let's substitute that x of k plus n so now in this equation in place of k we need to be substituting x of uh, uh, k plus n okay so now let's see if we get uh, our final proof as x of k let us see that let's continue x of n e power minus j 2 pi k plus n into n divided by n okay in place of k i have substituted k plus n k equal to 0 to n minus 1 okay now x of k plus n is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j so now so now we should be multiplying this n now that is 2 pi into k into n by n into e power minus j 2 pi k sorry this is 2 pi n into n by n right 2 pi 2 pi k n by n and 2 pi n into n capital n into small letter n divided by capital n okay so here i have uh, splitted this e power term since uh, we these two are having same A common denominator so this is one uh, in this way we can split that since we know that addition of two powers we would, we would be getting this so here now we can cancel this n and n out okay so now we are left with x of k plus n is equal to 
n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n into e power minus j 2 pi n okay so now we got one uh, this term here e power minus j 2 pi n so now for this we have one uh, proof that we can say that e power minus j 2 pi n is equal to 1 okay so how this is equal to 1 I am going to show you in the calculator okay that is for I am going to check for different values of n that is from n equal to 0 1 2 3 and goes on for different values of n in this equation I am going to substitute that as cos a we know that what is e power minus j theta we have discussed already so many problems that is cos of a minus i sin so we should keep in complex mode first yeah cos of a minus i sin of a can see so in this now e power minus j 2 pi into 0 okay so this whole term would be 0 so e power 0 is 1 that one term is done so now let's check for the value of n as 1 that is e power minus j 2 pi into 1 that is 2 pi only so now here in this case the value of a is 2 pi so here we got 1 so 2 pi into 2 now next value that is 4 pi 4 pi again we got 1 next value is into 3 that is 6 pi 1 again let's try for 8 pi again it is 1 so you can see that for all the even terms of 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi 10 pi okay for all those even terms the value here is 1 itself okay the value is 1 only here okay so what we can prove that we can prove that this equation that is e power minus j 2 pi n is equal to 1 so now what will happen if this term is equal to 1 this whole term would get cancelled okay so we would be left with x of k plus n is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n and here you can observe that what is this here this is the dft formula which you have written in your, here at the start that is this is x of k here you can see right so we can directly write that x of k plus n is equal to x of k so here we got our proof part okay this we needed to prove right so we have proved this and proved okay so this is the periodicity property of dft okay uh, related to this uh, sums are yet to be solved we are going to solve those sums also okay I think so the sums won't be asked but still uh, if it is necessary I'll let you know okay so this was all about the periodicity property so now we have one more property that is linearity property so now let's discuss that as well yeah so now let's discuss about this linearity property for this now we need to be considering two sequences okay so that so let us consider two sequences here that is we know that x1 of n its dft is represented as x1 of k similarly another sequence will take it as x2 of n its dft is given as x2 of k right so now what we need to prove here is a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n its dft we should be getting as a1 x1 of k plus a2 x2 of k so this we need to prove here now so this is to prove okay so where this a1 and a2 are any uh, some uh, any constant values okay those two are uh, constants so now let's uh, do, prove this part for this again we need to be considering the dft formula we should st be starting from this dft formula x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n where k equal to 0 to n minus 1 right so now let us substitute in place of x of n let us substitute this value okay 
that is a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n okay because we need to get this answer right so that's why in place of x of n let us substitute this that is x of k equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n okay so now we should be multiplying this term that is a1 x1 of n into this term so that is summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 a1 x1 of n into e power minus j 2 pi k n by n plus again summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 a2 x2 of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n okay so now in this in this step now we are going to apply this uh, linearity property that is this constant is there right a1 and a2 we are going to take outside okay we are going to write it separately now that is a1 into summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n hope you understood this how i have written it okay a2 summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x2 of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n since these two are constants right so that's why i have taken it outside so our finally our x of k here is so here we can see that these two are the DFTs that is its DFT is represented as x1 of k this DFT is represented as x2 of k right so what we would be getting a1 x1 of k plus a2 x2 of k right so that only we needed to prove right the DFT of this sequence when we substitute the value of x of n as a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n we should be getting our DFT as that is x of k we should be getting it as a1 x1 of k plus a2 x2 of k where this a1 and a2 are constants okay so this we have proved so this was all about the linearity property of dft hope you understood this so that's all for this session guys in this session we have discussed two of the important properties that is a periodicity property and linearity property of the discrete fourier transform so in the next session we are going to start with the uh, very new topic and uh, very interesting topic that is the DIT FFT algorithm that is decimation in time fast Fourier transform. So let's discuss that in the next session. So now let's wind this session. Please like, share, subscribe guys. Your like matters a lot. So please like the video, hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel and stay updated for the latest part. Okay. So that's all guys. Thank you.